Today I'm going to show you three different kits in Escape from Tarkov which can compete in the current meta. You will learn how to use them and how to modify these loadouts to your playstyle. Dear comrades, Ivan the German is back, glad to have you here and today I want to show you three different kits from different price ranges which can compete in the current meta and the reason for this video is quite simple. I want to show you meta weapons which aren't always the same like the M4 or the Vector. Of course we have some popular guests in our list today because the meta is like a small percentage of every items in the game so you will see them again and again and again but I want to try to do something different because the Vector is good, the M4 and the HK is good or are good and that's why I want to show you something different but of course if you like the Chris Vector and the HK you can play these weapons with my loadout. Let's start if you are level 4 you can buy the TV rig for around 100k from Regman. With level 3 you have some decent barter but right now the meta is so broke as you can see right now the TV rig will cost you only 70k which is nothing in my opinion. But I have to admit right now almost everybody is running with decent ammunition some decent guns but not only the armor is very decent from the TV rig let's check out this space you have two two by two squares and a lot a lot space to stash some loot that's why I like the TV rig let's say you killed a chat with the tactic slick or any other armor you can drop your TV rig in your backpack and you can play with his armor or loadout and you can use the TV rig to get some additional space in your in your current raid. On top of that what you need is the door kicker head. The door kicker head will give you a bonus RNG, a bonus to Tarkov Prime. So let's say you are not badass enough to play the door kicker head. You should at least use a normal baseball cap to cover your shades a little bit. On top of that and that's why I'm wearing it right now you need some face cover and an active tactical headset. In my opinion the GSSH is great but it's really a personal preference. The Peltor the Zordines and whatever are also very good. It really depends. I like the GSSH. The RPK or even a fully modded Meta AK is very good right now on Escape from Tarkov. The ergonomics are okay. The recoil is okay. But BS Ammunition and Egolnik are very good against high geared players. With BS and especially Egolnik you can shred the armor very well. AKs are scratching on the step to become meta weapons especially with the right ammunition as I said or even with 762 by 39 AKs with AP or BP rounds they are good they are very great. On the other hand I have the P90 pretty cheap from 49 to 54k you basically need suppressor scope and you are good to go. I modified the P90 a little bit so this is the best what you can get and as you can see you have some very good ergonomics 62 and 39 vertical recoil high fire rate and the ammunition is very decent. The P90 is one of those guns which plays better compared to the stats which we can see right now. So try out the P90, 50 round mag and you need a bunch of them because the P90 mag is pretty bad. 75 load unload modifier, it's really really bad and it takes a while to reload your magazines. Of course we have a lot, a lot other weapons but with some level 4 armor we have to keep it simple. Especially as a solo player with the AK you can shred armor with the P90. You can make some very decent headshots. You can take down scavs and scav bosses raiders quite quickly. And that's why I brought these two guns right here into the video. In terms of medical supplies. This is my basic medical supply if I can buy everything I like. Let's start with the current level I would play a Saleba. Saleba is the best what you can get. So the AFEC is okay but you have to keep in mind you only can restore 60 health points with one usage out of the AFEC. Let's continue with the Propital. The Propital is very very strong. It's a painkiller and it's also a healing over time. And of course you should consider playing with some nades. So let's jump to the next loadout and the AACPC rig is one of my most favorite armors or tactical rigs in Escape from Tarkov. Let's check that out. As you can see 
the space is huge for a level 5 armor. But right now the AAC PC is very expensive, 400k is quite a lot. So what I really recommend, do the barter for the AAC PC from Regman level 4 for 3 Cordura, 3 Ripstop and 1 Whiskey, which is around 170 to 200k, but it's worth, it's definitely worth. So my weapon of choice for a long time during the mid stages of this wipe is the SR25. The SR25 is one of the biggest winners in Escape from Tarkov 12.9 and 12.10. I made a video about the SR25. It's such a great DMR. It's such a great 762 by 51 weapon in Escape from Tarkov right now, thanks to the muzzle device. And the SR is also a weapon which feels much better than the actual stats are. And the actual stats are pretty decent in my opinion. The weapon itself, if you play the weapon and I Highly recommend the SR to a lot of my guys on our Discord or during the stream. We are streaming on Twitch and we have a lot of interactions about some guns and some builds. Play the SR. I will link the video. Play the SR. I highly recommend it. Ammunition should be quite clear. M80 or M61. Since they nerfed M62, it's slightly, slightly better than M80, but it's not worth the extra cost. You will get M80 for 3 bucks, M62 for six bucks. So if you don't care for the money, especially right now, go for M61 or M80. If you can't afford the ammunition, try something else. We made videos for this topic. If you like helmets, I would really recommend two of them. The Ulach is very nice. Color, shape, ricochet chance and armor class. Everything is very decent. And if you can choose, don't play the ton version because it's too bright in my opinion. If you like face shields, check out the TC800. Stats are okay, high ricochet chance. And this helmet is very cheap. You can get it for 40 to 60k on the flea. Especially to the early and mid status of the wipe, this combination is very nice. And don't forget you can craft Cordura and Ripstop in your hideout from your lavatory. You just need scaff vests and the sling backpack. I wouldn't buy the scaff vest and sling from the flea right now, it's not worth. But if you are doing some scaff runs or if you have some space in your inventory, pick it up and craft some Ripstop and Cordura. And the last loadout, of course, it's something with level 6. It's the MP7A2 in combination with the hex grid and the MPPV. The MP7 is the best SMG in Escape from Tarkov right now, due to the fact that you can shoot APSX and it's kinda affordable compared to some other meta weapons. What you really need is the suppressor. You can change the shift grip to the Magpul grip or anything else you like. You can even save some more money if you play the MP7A1 which has kind of the same vertical recoil, 44, and you have a little bit less ergonomics around 45. What's really hard to get is the AP ammo right now, so keep in mind that you have to buy AP ammo from Mechanic. But besides of the costs, why is the MP7 so good? As I mentioned, it's due to the fact that you have a high fire rate, 950 rounds per minute, AP rounds, which have a decent penetration and 40 round max. In combination, this is the best SMG. In the beginning of this video, I said, that I'm going to show you some efficient kits. Why am I showing you the hex grid? Early and mid status of the wipe, the hex grid carrier is very cheap. Right now we have a broken economy. You can get the hex grid plate carrier for around 300k, but yeah, the economy is kind of broke. And as you can see right now, only 60k difference between the hex grid and the slick. So if the difference between the hex grid and the slick is not that much, go for a slick. But overall the hex grid is a very decent level 6 armor, you can repair it very well. So if you like helmets with face shield, I wouldn't recommend the Alton, personal preference, I like to get all the information, especially as a solo or duo player. I mentioned that in some other videos and during my stream. I just want to keep this video as short as possible. So to be honest guys, if you like the multi-hit ballistic face shield, go for the TC800 all the time. But let's say you don't care about the money, you can play the Opscore Fast MT of course, your debuffs are a little bit better, but you also should consider playing the Team Wendy x fill because the face shield from the Team Wendy is better compared to the multi-hit ballistic. As we can see right now, we have from the x fill face shield a high ricochet chance and from the multi-hit it's only regular medium. And you should consider playing with some more stims. So this is the green stim. It's a very decent stim for critical situations because this stim can heal you very, very fast over time. And if you really want to squeeze the chatness, the sweatiness out of your character, play with Melodnin. 
boost in strength, endurance and stamina recovery, it's also a very powerful stim. So if you want to get a better experience in Tarkov, play the same stuff over and over again to get used to it because every armor and every rig plays in a different way. So small tip in the end of this video. And right now I'm really interested in your opinion because we want to produce videos for you guys. If you have any problems in Escape from Tarkov, let us know. What do you think about this video? Don't forget we stream on Twitch, mainly Escape from Tarkov and a little bit Hunt Showdown. So you are highly welcome to join us there. And as always in the end of this video, don't forget to like this video because we Germans want to win at least something. And if it's your like for this video, I would really appreciate it. Let's jump to the next video.